how's everyone doing? Today I'll be reviewing the Australian horror movie The Babadook. And if you've seen The Babadook, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. The movie is about a single mother and her seven-year-old son, Samuel. And seven years ago, her husband, who was the father of Samuel, was killed in a car accident while driving her to the hospital to deliver Samuel. So right from the onset, you find out it's a very tragic movie, and you can tell that it still affects her every day, and it leaves her a bit depressed and haunted, as well as affecting the son, too. He's always yearning for attention. So one night before bedtime, they're going to have story time, and she says to go pick out a book. So Samuel picks out this book called Mr. Baba Duke, and she says, where did you find that at? And he says, I found it on the bookshelf. And she says she's never seen it before, so she reads the book of Mr. Babadook, which plays out like a frightening nursery tale that rivals the grim fairy tales, and it tells the story of the monster Babadook. So she stops reading the book because the kid is freaking out and it's scaring him, so she hides the book, and then nights following that, the kid starts freaking out, saying the Babadook is coming, and she starts hearing weird noises all throughout the house. And no matter how many times the mother tries to get rid of the book or destroy the book, the book keeps reappearing. And she can't sleep and the kid is acting out and strange things start happening in the house. You slowly start to see her unravel and you start to question whether these things are actually happening or if they're all in her mind and she's going crazy. With all the noises in the house, the cockroaches, the flickering lights, the old dark houses, the setting, and the old TV shows and movies she's watching from not being able to sleep, along with the score, the tensions are heightened to a dramatic level. The film didn't exploit the look of the Babadook, it made it into a lingering mystery which really makes the audience's mind race. It doesn't play up on cheap jump scares and thrills, but more on psychological fear. It also harkens back to primal fears of monsters lurking in the dark. The Babadook has great creepy mood and atmosphere all throughout the film. There's a very surreal feeling to the film as well, and the scenes where she's floating free really adds to that dreamlike effect. Excellent cinematography, and at times some of the scenes reminds me of aspects from Polanski's Repulsion. The film has a washed out hue and look that reflects the bleak tone perfectly. Very drab and dreary. The ingenuity of this little kid Samuel is off the charts with all the weapons he's building to face the monster, but it also gets him in trouble at school and with his young friends. The mother is absolutely frazzled and on edge the whole movie, and it just heightens as the movie continues, uh, from her taking care of the kid and the kid acting out and her trying to balance that with work as well. The kid is constantly getting in trouble and talking about the evil monster, the Babadook, and it's really making everybody around him kind of frightened of him and worried. It really delves into the psychological aspect of the mother blaming the son for the husband's death and the longing for physical touch and neglecting the son and the son yearning for attention. They did a really great job of conveying how out of control the son is and at times it makes you really hate the son and feel sorry for the mother, at least in the beginning. And then from there I really love how the character of the mother evolves or rather devolves and your whole feelings towards both of them really change. The dramatic pacing of the movie might be a little bit slow for some, but I found it to be deliberate to building up the tension. It's a very visceral experience with some creepy imagery and really terrific horror scenes. The look to the Babadook is eerie and his voice is effectively creepy, especially when he says, The Babadook Duke Duke. I can't do it justice, but trust me, it is super creepy. And the Baba Duke reminds me of when I was a kid growing up in Germany and this fairy tale that was told to me that if I don't stop biting my fingernails, that this creature would come with super long fingernails and chop off your finger. Because the Baba Duke has, you know, a top hat and a coat and he really long fingernails. It's very creepy looking. And it really kind of played into my memories as a kid and that was just terrifying to me. It's an incredibly engaging film right from the start and it connects you with the characters and it plays up the emotional aspect very well all throughout the movie. Superb acting from the two leads, very believable performances. S.C. Davis as the depressed struggling mother delivers an iconic performance. And I love the allegory for the Babadook, it works perfectly for this film. The whole film really feels like a terrifying fairy tale and it's extremely effective. The Babadook is written and directed by Jennifer Kent and this is her feature length directorial debut and what an incredible debut it is. I can't wait to see more from her in the future. The Babadook is a great psychological horror film, one of the best I've seen in a long time, and this is a new modern horror classic. 
Overall, I give the Babadook a 9.5 out of 10 stars, a must-see. And if you've seen the Babadook, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. Leave me a comment or a video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care. Sublime.